A question that I often get about Pricematic is why did you choose Pricematic over some of the other um, popular auto listers like Hydra Lister, Skew Grid, and you know what? The reason that I ch have chose Pricematic and have been using it for quite some time now is because it's all in one. They ha they literally have everything you need in one program, whereas Hydra Lister you need to have Skew Grid also. I found it just not very user friendly, whereas Pricematic is super easy to learn. So I'm just going to go over a few things on how to use Pricematic, but it's overall very user friendly and this is why I prefer it over any of the other programs. Um, so for example, we have the listing manager. So that will show you all your listings everything that you have in stock, everything that you have out of stock. Um, what I like to do is I go to eBay and generally, like right now it shows I have 1136 items out of stock. So every day usually about 30 or 40 come back into stock when uh, Pricematic does its uh, pr repricing. But I, I usually like to just delete, like I'll go to eBay and I'll delete these 1100 listings and then I'll put 1100 new ones that are active so that I'm not wasting those listings and wasting um, repricing from Pricematic. I'm currently on the 11,000 um, listing subscription but I'm gonna have to put that up because uh, as you can see I have 262 listings that aren't being repriced right now because I haven't went up to the next plan so at the end of this video, I'll actually change it to the 12,000 plan. Uh, I always like to monitor more than what I have because if you're under monitoring like I'm doing right now, then those 262 listings could change price on Amazon or Walmart and you're not going to have it update for you and you could actually lose money or it could be out of stock and then you'll be selling an item that is no longer available and that can cause issues on your eBay store. Um, you can click out of stock then they have unknown. Unknown is basically items that you've uploaded to eBay that were uploaded before you had Pricematic so it either doesn't recognize them so you can actually go through each of those and add in the required um, data so that Pricematic can auto automatically reprice those if they're from Amazon or Walmart. And then import from eBay. That will import everything that you currently have in case you want to import prior to the eBay repricer running on Pricematic. For auto ordering, um, to be honest, I don't use auto ordering. I use a different program called Smarty Drop. Um, I found that there auto ordering is a little expensive so I use Smarty Drop it's I think it's 50 bucks a month and it's unlimited whereas this is they have a pay per order um, like way of charging for this so I don't because I do a lot of orders I don't wanna have to pay for each order so I'm hoping that they're gonna change this uh, in the future because then I would love to be able to use the auto ordering on this you can use it, it's just if you are making a lot of sales, then it's going to cost more money to do it this way. If you're just making a few sales, you're just starting out, you only have 250 listings or something, then I would definitely recommend using their auto ordering. But I would say when you're making 40 to 50 sales a day, it's a no-brainer to use Smarty Drop, or you can look for another program, but I would definitely recommend Smarty Drop in that case. Uh, the eBay Lister. So this is awesome because they have a create listing and a bulk listing. Bulk listing is from when you've scraped the seller. I'll go over that in a little bit. And the create a listing is you just literally copy the URL from any Amazon or Walmart product and it will automatically list it. It takes, I would say, under 10 seconds. You can, it puts all the pictures in, it puts the description. You just have to decide the price. And if you've set your uh, listing presets right here, um, if you've set those properly, then it will automatically set the price based on your profit margin percentage. So yeah, th that's a great feature. 
Um, so if you have it preset, then literally it'll take like probably five seconds by the time you hit, you've pasted the URL into the time you actually list it. And then right after it lists, you can click on view my listing and it will show you what your listing looks like on eBay. I like to double check them every once in a while just to make sure that everything's right, but I've had no issues so far. And like, like I said, I've, I have, uh, 12,960 active listings. I'm making around 40 to 50 sales a day. Um, but I'm looking to definitely put some more active listings in and continue to grow this business. And with, with the help of Pricematic, it makes it a lot easier. Um, I also have hired two virtual assistants to work for me. One of them deals with solely with customer service and the other deals solely with placing the orders for me. So this business is basically running completely by itself and I'm paying um, my Filipino VAs only $2 an hour, which is uh, in the Philippines because their cost of living is so low. It's actually very a very good pay and they really appreciate working and they're hard workers. Both the guys I have working for me, they both have degrees. So I'll also leave a link. I'll leave one link. The first link will be the free trial to using Pricematic in the description below. And the second link will be to onlinejobs.ph, which is where I hire the Filipino VAs from. And then next, so there's the listing presets and then the listing templates. You can look through both those and set those to how you'd like. And then the listing scraper, this is one of the most awesome features, is you can go on eBay and search for an item that you find on Amazon. Copy that UPC from Amazon to eBay and 99 out of 100 of the sellers that will be listing that UPC will be listing it directly from Amazon doing the exact same thing as you and likely using Pricematic also. So you can scrape them. So what you do is you click scrape a seller and you put in their, their sell, user ID. Say theirs is, let's just make one up, um, eBay seller. And so then you would go what, what marketplace? So you could do, either do ebay.com or ebay.uk and then you, I always click 1000 and that will scrape the most and then so all you would do is click start scan and that will scan 1000 of their active listings or you can scan 1000 of their sold listings. I prefer to do active but you can do either and then at the end after you scrape that seller it will it will copy those 1000 listings and it will see which ones will be profitable profitable based on the fees that you have to pay and the presets that you've set and you can select all the profitable ones or select all the ones that are sold if if you go through active listings and this is a great way to get a ton of products up really quick listed on eBay it takes next to no time you can right after you um, do the scrape you go to the scrape report grab that report of the listings that you had just scraped from that seller and you just put that into your bulk listing that's so that's where I'm coming back to the bulk listing and in the bulk listing then you can list thousands of products and you can do that before you go to bed one night wake up in the morning you'll have say you had 5,000 you'd have 5,000 listed